What's up guys, it's No Cursor, and today it is May 5th on a Thursday. So we're dropping a video real quick. Today we're gonna to be talking about the cheat code to life, which is the Bible. Yes, the Bible. The Bible has every single topic in it, and it may not be the verbatim word of what you might be dealing with or what you're thinking of, but there's something in there that can help that. For example, there's not always going to be examples of like pornography for the word we're getting real here that word is not necessarily in the bible but there is stuff in the bible that talks about addiction so i'm just gonna like release my mind on this talk about it real quick because the bible is very important so let's hop into it Okay, so once again, we're talking about the cheat code to life and it's very amazing. Lots of fun. The Bible is there's story after story. There's lesson after lesson, proverb after proverb for some, some books. Yes, it's absolutely beautiful. And there's every single topic in this book. So how can you use your cheat code? It's very simple. For the first off, if you have a physical Bible, you can go ahead and go to the back of your book and you have your concordance here. And in your concordance is every word that shows up in the Bible. Every word that shows up is going to show up here. It may skip to and 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 stuff. But for, for example, there's self-control in here, self-discipline, selfish, uh, shepherd, shelter, there is, I'm sure sadness is going to be in here. There's just all this stuff in here and you can go through the entire alphabet and you can look for it. If it's not there, I advise you to think about, okay, what is my problem? We're going to go back to the alcohol. Not was that? The, no pornography example. So it may not be in the P section, but you're like, okay, what is this? I'm struggling with not being able to break this habit that I have that's unhealthy. So then you can go to habits or addictions. Yes, it's in here somehow. There's some breakdown that'll help you out no matter what. So that's if you have a physical Bible. If you don't have a physical Bible and you're on your phone where you don't have a Bible at all, if you have a device that's accessible, you can look up pretty much anything. You can look up um, depression in the Bible or sadness in the Bible, and it's gonna come up. There's gonna be something. And once again, if you can't find the exact word, break down, evaluate what you're going through and go, okay, well, this isn't this, but it is this. So I'm going to search that awesome examples. <laughs> so a big example that I just found out yesterday that was really neat was that I was thinking about this, the idea of the Bible being the cheat code to life and having all the answers. And I was thinking, is there an example of suicide in the Bible? And yes, Judas did take his own life out of um, anger towards himself and guilt, which it was very sad. And I know there was another king who fell on his sword, which was also suicide. But I was like, man, it seems like all the topics of suicide here are not very healthy. No one really gets out of it. And then I found in Job, it actually talks about how after he lost everything, he was in this very sad place, probably at his lowest point in his life, 100% lowest point in his life. One of his friends, mm, friends, tell him to curse God and die. And he persevered and did not do that because of his faith in who God was. So that was an example. So here we have somebody who perseveres through suicide. And if you want to go even further, if you don't think that that's enough, then you can go, okay, what's my faith in God like that I don't think my faith can save me from this? Your trust, yeah, your trust, your source. So yes, that's really good. The Bible really has every answer. There's not a single thing in here that is not good. And all scripture is God breathed. All scripture is God breathed. Now, an important thing I want to bring up real quick, it's in John chapter five, 
verse 29, I believe. Sorry, 39. Jesus is talking to the religious leaders, the Pharisees, and he says in verse 39, you search the scriptures because you think they give you eternal life. But the scriptures point to me, yet you refuse to come to me and receive this life. So I don't want you guys to hear what I'm talking about, about the answers being here. Take that, go to the Bible, and then not go to God because God is the true answer. Jesus is life. Like, that's the only way. So I'm not saying skip out on God and go to the Bible. If anything, I would say go to God. If you had to skip something, I don't know if I'm suggesting anything. But I would say if you had to choose between going to the Bible and going to God, always go to God because He can provide for your needs. And He knows the plan He has for you. He knows what He has for you. And He will light your path. He will light your path. Guys, sometimes we are walking down a path and it's really foggy and you can't see. And you can only see like four feet ahead of you. But if Jesus is four feet ahead of you holding that lantern, that's all you need. All you need to do is stay connected to him. All you need to do. So, I encourage you guys, go to your Bibles. Look stuff up. If you guys have a question, put it in the comments. If you have a struggle and you can't exactly find where it is, put it in the comments, guys. I will search and I will dig for you to help you out and i'll and i might even do a video later on how to like search the bible for this stuff but if you guys are having a problem i'm here for y'all i am here i'm just as human as you are me and my 215 subscribers it does not have too full of a schedule to not be able to connect with you guys so if you guys are going through something and you need someone to talk to um or you need someone to dig for you because you can't find something 100% guys, put it in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss the next video. Go read your Bible today. I challenge you. Go read it for five minutes. Read one chapter. A good thing to start off in, if you guys have never read the Bible before, I advise you guys go read the book of John so you understand pretty much why Christianity, who Jesus is, why he's so important, and why... He is our savior. Just all that. So beautiful. If you have read the Bible before and you're a believer and you know all the stuff, not really, we can never know all of it. But if you don't really spend a lot of time in your Bible, I advise you to go read Proverbs. Proverbs is really good. 31 chapters. It's a great thing to read for the corresponding day. So if you went today and you went and read May, not May 5th. Wow. Proverbs 5 is really good. Just read chapter by chapter. There's always stuff that can help you. We're never going to be perfect until we're in heaven. So this is a good thing to help us get closer, right? So thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys have an amazing rest of your day. Go read your Bible. And guys, every time I forget my, my, my catchphrase. It's not really a catchphrase. It's like my motto, you know? What is it? Oh, you're right. Love God, love yourself, love others, and keep it clean. <laughs>